How's it going everyone? Zonobra here coming at you with another video. Today is going to be episode 2 of our YouTube diary. So let's start with numbers. This week guys, I did a League of Legends giveaway for $10 uh, of right points. And I think that really helped me uh, get some subscribers and followers on Twitter. So let's just look at the numbers. So on YouTube guys, I went from 178 subscribers to 197. Very close to 200. I'm very happy about the results. I'm happy that people that participated in the giveaway didn't unsubscribe and some told me that they're glad they found out about the channel so that was actually really nice like I really enjoyed that on Twitter we went from 928 I believe I took screenshot this time so I will be able to compare uh, screenshots from one week to another and right now we're at 950 uh, followers and on Facebook we didn't change we are still at uh, 392 uh, likes on my Facebook page because it's not a Facebook page that is very active I only post the videos I make sometimes but I should really definitely work on that this is something I really want to work on me showing you my numbers the reason why I want to do this is that I really want to be transparent about how growth is and how I feel about that like when it doesn't grow what are my feelings about this if it grows a lot what do I think did that what works what didn't work and this is only for me to reflect on and also for you to be like oh okay so that happened so maybe from my YouTube channel I could learn this and learn that I think it's amazing that I can document this YouTube journey and that I can bring this far and hopefully if I make something out of this YouTube channel it could be an amazing diary over like maybe like two three years where I don't see growth for a lot of time and then I start to make a little bit more views and like getting a little bit more subscribers it's interesting to see the journey so this is only the start what uh, I want to talk about so let's just go over the videos I did this week and I feel like some really worked and some really didn't so this week I tried numbers of things. I tried to talk about my frustration about the NLCS. So I talked esports and I was giving an opinion, like a strong opinion about why I think it sucked. I some people say, "Oh, you shouldn't be so roasty of like some NLCS players." This is not the point. Like I'm not trying to roast people. I don't take pleasure in roasting people, but I feel like this was something I needed to do. Honestly, I thought the video was would be doing very like much better than this it got 27 views uh, three likes and one dislike and I thought that this video would be very interesting because like we're moving into a new season in NLCS and the viewers are very low people on reddit are talking about this and I thought this video would be doing very well by the way I noticed that it's very hard to promote your YouTube content on reddit League of Legends at least because it goes so fast like I remember I posted my video and I refreshed the page and it was already down there it's very hard to promote uh, reddit content it's so it's so so hard so what I tried as well is I did a reaction video my initial thought about reaction video is that I do watch reaction videos but I feel like they're more interesting in a comedic in a, in a comedy aspect like when you watch H3 H3 videos they have this coming aspect on a reaction video, but the added value to bring to the actual video is huge with the little skit, the little like goof and stuff. Me, I tried to do it. I thought that you guys would like it. Uh, it has 16 views. I got good feedbacks on the comment down below, but again, it is not a video that brought me new subscribers. And I feel like this is really what I want to aim for. Like, what video could bring me more subscribers? And I'll try about, I'll talk about this at the end of the video. Uh, I will introduce you to an article I read. After this, so I talked about eSport being invested. So then I took a look at an entire business side of eSports and gaming. And it was the investment from Tencent to Chinese eSport. So those are content that I'm not going to expect to do well. But they interest me so much that I actually want to do a video about it. Because the business side of things is something that really, really, really interests me. The last thing I did is getting paid to test video games. So that that video did quite well in a short amount of time. It got 8 views uh, in less than a day. Which is good for me. I mean, it's it's pretty, it's, it's decent. For me, it's almost like above average. It was very interesting because I thought that now that I do things in the gaming industry, that I do playtesting, I thought it was such an amazing topic. And I don't see a lot of people talking about it uh, in, in YouTube. So I was like, oh, this could be cool video like how to get paid playing video games how to get rewarded how to how to test unreleased games I thought those would be interesting tags to put on this video uh, to reach out to more people that would be interested into that so those are the things I tried this week and I thought it was interesting my video that I did the best on this week was getting into e3 for free uh, the story about these two dudes that 
got into E3 pretending they were catering uh, employees, catering company uh, employees. That was really cool and it was a very, very funny story. I also tried to do a summary of a game with uh, Riven, if you saw. It's called I Actually Do A Lot Of Mistakes and it's basically me watching a game that I did on stream and be like, oh, I suck at this, I should work on that. Oh, look here, I'm doing a mistake because this guy is this guy on the minimap is here and here. Oh, here I should have warded. Oh, sh here I should have done stuff. I got a really interesting comment on it, so I might do this again. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, feel free to drop a comment on this video. The last thing I want to talk about, guys, as I will end those videos in advices that I hear from other big YouTubers. And today is again from a YouTuber called Jake Paul. A lot of people hear about him. A lot of people don't like him. A lot of people like him. I just respect the fact that right now he's killing it on YouTube and there's nothing we can do about it. His content is super interesting in terms of business side of things. I know guys, like you guys know I wrote his book and I actually did a review about it and I thought it was amazing and it's so interesting. Like I, I really watch past all the hate and the drama and all the stuff with ex-girlfriend but I just see how he does it as a business person. and. Trust me guys, besides his, his content that is very clickbaity or whatever, behind it, he has a lot of like business stuff he does on the side. And this week, an article on Forbes uh, got released, which is like, having an article on Forbes is a huge milestone for anyone in this world. And he talks about how daily content is super interesting. And daily content is super important for your growth of your channel, because he says this and it really struck me. He was like, every day you don't upload, you lose the opportunity to go viral. And every video has the potential to bring new subscribers. Every video has the potential to go viral. So you see guys how sometimes we see videos going viral and stuff, like things going viral out of nowhere. Uh, the last one was uh, the guy Carter, uh, Carter with the, the chicken nuggets with uh, Wendy's that got like more retweets than the Ellen show. Stuff like this are very random. But stuff like that happens sometimes. Like, they just happen. No one know when we go viral. Like, Justin, Justin Bieber, when he posted his video back in the days when he was a kid, he didn't know he was going to go viral. He didn't know that Usher would watch his videos. Like, you really never know. Like, maybe tomorrow, a YouTuber will be like, oh, I like this guy's content, let me promote him. And he's going to be like, yo, what's up, guys? Before I end this video, this is Zona Brock. Go check out his channel. Say hi from me. Uh, his content is crazy. Like... You don't know, right? And I feel like making those videos every day gives you a little bit more chance to get more subscribers, get more views, get more this, get more that. And I thought it was a very interesting topic. And I will link the article down below. He talks about how uh, his entrepreneurial life is, how Team 10, his company, is doing, and how his influencer world is working around him and it's super interesting like if you really look past all the shit and the bullshit that people say about him or what he does or whatever it's really really interesting i feel like this week of youtube was very fun i posted every day i i've been posted two videos in one day i think if you guys have general feedbacks to give me my, my youtube channel i think that it would be so nice for you to tweet at me at zonabra and just tell me what's up even if you think my channel is shit Please tell me and let me know why. Like, I'm really curious of why. And this week, I'm looking forward to make new Austin videos. Maybe I want to reach out to some YouTubers, maybe so that I can get some shout outs or I can work on a collab with someone that has a little bit more subscriber than me. So, sorry if this video was very raw and just me talking. I feel like I love doing this. So, I feel like this is what I'm good at. I'm very comfortable around the camera and the mic. And I hope you guys enjoy those content that are very like me meditating on this week of YouTube. Right now it's an amazing experience and I really can't wait to post seven videos this week and show it to you guys. Hopefully we can grow to 200 subscribers um, this week and maybe we can reach 1,000 followers on, on Twitter. That would be really really cool. And yeah, that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much again for being here. Uh, if you guys are the subscribers that watch this video, diary number two, you guys are my earliest, earliest subscribers, wherever you guys are from France or from the US or from anywhere in the world. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Honestly, if one day I become something in this platform, I would thank you the most, guys, for sticking around and just like watching the shitty content because I think that a year from now or two years from now, we'll look at this content and be like, yo, yo. Yo, I used to be shit at YouTube. So, yeah. Let's grind, guys. Let's work hard. Let's keep grinding on this YouTube game. And let's see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. Thank you so, so much. I'll see you tomorrow for a new video. Cheers. Bye.